Megan. I'm Sierra. And, and we're, we're from TC2. Too. So a few years ago, when me and Sierra were freshmen in college and in our dorm, we did a video where we all decided to stretch our splits for a week just to see how much we can improve them. And you guys really like that video. All right, so we have this product that's supposed to help you stretch your splits or just like any flexibility stuff ever with lit band. Yeah, I think that there's probably just like a ton of products with this. So you're supposed to be able to put this in a door and use it to help you stretch your splits. It's kind of like you pull on one end and then it like pulls your leg more into a split. I think, like I saw it on Pinterest I think, and I was like, this looks like a very crazy contraption. So this part right here is the part that you stick in the door frame and then you close the door. And then, ours is a nice pink color. You just put like your foot, like I have no idea how this works. You like put your foot in like one loop and then you can hold on to like this other loop and like pull it. It's like a lever system, I think. Um, I thought it was like, the craziest thing ever. But it's also like, just when I'm stretched, I'm like, sometimes I just need something to like, yank it. Pull, you know? So I think that this would be a really cool thing to try out. So our plan for this video is to stretch using this thing for at least 10 minutes every day for the next week and see how much we can improve our flexibility. I'm excited to see how this is any different than just stretching on our own. Now is the time to show you guys some befores so that hopefully at the end of this week we can actually see some improvement. So here's my right leg split. We just did some basic stretching, but don't expect a lot. This is probably where we're at. Okay, left leg split. We're about right here. Ah! This is the rough one. This is all, this is that, that's it. All right, so we are also going to be doing our scorpion just because we figured that the contraption is mostly going to be like how you're stretching a scorpion. So hopefully these also improve during the week. Pull! That was it. All right, so now it's my turn to show my before splits. I do not have very high hopes for these. I was actually impressed with Megan's. I don't know if mine are gonna go that far. Ow, this hurts. Guys, I don't do splits except when we're filming now. Look at that, that's sad. This hurts a lot, oh my god. So, definitely some room for improvement there. This is so bad, oh my god. And it hurts, they all hurt. I'm like, almost a foot off the ground, I think, for this. All right, now it's time for my scorpion. You guys already know I'm the queen of not doing a scorpion. So, let's uh, see how it looks. <sighs> there we go. That's as good as it's gonna get. All right, so I'm going to show you guys us setting this up. It's honestly been months since we ordered this, but I'm fairly certain that you just stick this through here and then put this part through the door. So I'm putting the black, uh, spongy part, I guess, over the door, and then I'm gonna, like, go the outside. And then tug it until the sponge is on top. So now, this just moves like a lever. Okay, so now that this is officially set up, me and Sierra are going to get ready to each do our 10 minute turns. All right, so I'm thinking the first thing I want to do is just, like, do my scorpion, but with this. So I'm going to put my left foot in here and then tighten this around my ankle if i can do that and then i'm just gonna pull this and see if we can help my scorpion ah! oh my god <laughs> i need a cramp <laughs> does it look like a scorpion it's a far scorpion really like how far do you feel like you're pulling your scorpion oh god. <laughs> i just saw it that's better oh god you know when you're stretching and like you're just like my body won't let me go anymore? This is like your legs aren't like wanting you to do anything, but your arms are like, no, keep going. So in that sense, I feel like I have more control of how far I can go. <laughs> Did you actually open the door? I guess. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start my 10 minute stretch now. So I think I'm gonna do my left leg first. All right, Echo, set a 10 minute timer. This is interesting. I am also <laughs> getting a cramp. <laughs> Climb the rope. Uh, I mean, it's pretty far, but like, you know, it's a good stretch, I think. I see what you mean though, Val. I'm like, my life's like, no, please don't, keep going. And you're like, you know what, no, keep going. Oh 
Oh god. Come on, leg. Use the door frame to help. All right, so we just finished up a day one of stretching, and honestly, I think overall I am liking how this works. There's a few like weird nuances, like I keep leaning into the door. Yeah. I wish it was more overhead. Um, but overall, I'm excited. I think overall, because I have not looked at this thing at all, so here's the one that ordered this, so I thought that setup was going to be more difficult, um, but it was really easy, and my hands hurt, so that yeah. was another thing that I was not expecting. That. Like, I've never done like such a finger workout before. Yeah, but aside from my little mishap where the door accidentally opened, I must have hit the doorknob by accident. <laughs> um, I thought it was pretty user-friendly, yeah. so I'm kind of excited to see how the rest of the week goes. Welcome back to day two of us stretching. I'm just popping in really quick because I wanted to remind you guys that if you want to check out any of our merch down below, then it's right below for you guys to check it out. Right below this right video. Right below the video. So, we're just going to stretch for 10 minutes, 5 minutes each leg. I'm going to actually just turn on a podcast so the time will just fly by. Alright, I'm ready for day two, 10 minutes. I am more sore today than I was yesterday, so I think that I might be worse, but hopefully it can at least help loosen me up a little bit. up day three i feel like my day three is pretty on par with what i've been experiencing i feel like i'm starting to not be super confident in the stretching thing like my left hamstring in particular was still very tight and when you're like the one responsible for doing the pulling it just kind of like is easier to like let it slack up a little bit i weirdly think that my scorpion when i hold my i think of this now when i hold my right leg up is like kind of easier slash better than my left leg. All right, so since today is day four, we're going to do a halfway point kind of uh, progress update. So we're gonna show you guys our splits and our scorpions today. Um, but yeah, first I have 10 minutes of stretching to do. Day four, let's get it. Let's see if I can get any better. So I'm going to show my right leg splits first. Ooh, so I can drop into them. They still hurt pretty bad though. I don't know if these have improved. Have these improved at all? Um, hard to say. I don't know. I mean, they're pretty bad before, but that's still. Not great. All right, so now I have to do my scorpion. I don't know how it will go, but we will see. Now through. <laughs> I do think it's closer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give my right leg splits a try. When I was stretching, I felt like they actually had gotten a little bit better. They're still pretty sore, but I think that hopefully I can get them all the way down. There's right, this hurts really bad, so like, do not be fooled. Ooh, like I simply can't go lower than this right now. This will be interesting, because to be honest, this stretching thing doesn't really focus a whole lot on my adductors. And I think that this makes that pretty evident. All right, let's see. For you guys, when I am doing the scorpion stretch in that thing, it feels like my body is bent in half, and then I turn around, and I'm like making such a U shape. Time for day five of stretching. We are almost done. All right, so I think my stretching today went pretty well overall. Um, it kind of still feels the same as it has been, but I do think I'm making like slow but steady progress. All right, everyone, it is day six. We are so close to the end. We have one more day after this. So I'm going to start my 10 minutes of stretching. We 
officially made it to day seven, so it's our last day of stretching. I am so excited to be done with this challenge, but I also really hope that we like made some improvements so hopefully you guys can see some good results. But even if we don't, like this is just the reality of stretching and there's not only really, like a magical cure, but I will be interested to see how much I've improved. So let's get started. Alright, it is time for my very last stretching session, which means that this is going to be the final 70, or like getting up to 70 minutes of stretching on this thing this week, which is kind of a long time if you think about it, but 10 minutes a day doesn't really make it seem like that, so I'm hopeful to end up with a good stretching session and then have my splits all the way down and maybe a better scorpion than when I started. Okay, so now that I'm done stretching, it's time to show all of my splits and my scorpions, so hopefully we will see some improvement overall. So here's my right leg split. That actually went down so much easier. Like, it still kind of hurts, but like, I'm sitting in it, so that is a success. Alright, so we're going to do my left leg splits now. If you guys remember the midweek checkup, I don't think my last splits had improved that much, so we'll see if they've gotten any better. So I can like let my hands go and I dropped a little bit, but definitely not touching the ground. However, I bet if I put a side by side up, uh, which we'll do for all of these, I bet there's a significant improvement for that. All right, time for my middle splits. If you remember, I had like a foot of room between the ground and me. Um, and even I think during like the midweek checkup, I don't think there was that much improvement. So we shall see if they've gotten any better. I think they are farther down, I don't know if you can tell, but definitely, like, not that much improvement. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time to try my scorpion. This is the one that I'm most nervous about because I feel like this would be, like, the biggest difference between uh, the before and after. So if I actually, like, pull a scorpion, that'd be great. I will say when I was stretching my scorpions today, they felt the best I felt all week. Oh my god, I just did it! That was the easiest scorpion I've ever done! Megan's running out from her room. <laughs> I literally just like pulled it over my head. Well now I have to see. Hey. That's literally the best I've ever done scorpion, isn't it? Yeah. You guys, if you've been right. a viewer, you know. Success! <laughs> I'll go ahead and start off with my right leg splits. Wow, not too bad. Still definitely tight right here. But, like, I could sit in this for a decent amount of time and it's not too bad. So, that's by far an improvement from where I was at the beginning of the week. Left splits I haven't been feeling that great about this whole week. Yeah, I think that that's about it for my left leg. Middle splits I also do not feel good about. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if that was any better than the first time I did this. Alright, now it's time for my scorpion, which I think is one of the things I was most interested in seeing how much I would improve throughout this week. That was pretty good. It felt like, I felt like I was actually able to like, okay, grab and then like actually pull it up a little bit. My back is still not super flexible, but I actually think that that was... Um, an improvement from what it felt like. We'll have to see how much better it actually looks with the side-by-side. -side. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how this week went. I don't think 10 minutes a day was like too much time mm -hmm. to commit to stretching, especially since Megan and I are super busy right now. Um, it didn't feel like an overwhelming burden to do every day. Yeah, if you guys don't know, me and Sierra just started grad school like for our fall semester this week, so we were doing that at the same time. Um, and honestly, like it wasn't that hard to like fit it into our routine, mm -hmm. even with having classes all day. Um, so I think it'd be good for us to talk about just some pros and cons that we felt like we experienced with this device throughout the week. So overall, I like the idea of it and I like how it works. Like mm -hmm. it's a different way of stretching than just like sitting on the ground, doing splits, doing over splits. But I think it was limited in stretching middle splits. Yeah. Um, that you was probably a few times probably like do a weird side stretch. Um, I think my favorite thing to do is stretch my scorpion with it because like it truly does mimic the motion that you're going to do for a scorpion. 
Um, as far as like construction for this, this tends to like get a little bit like messed up, but it's not too hard to fix or anything. Um, but just like when you're pulling in different directions, the rope can kind of like get moved in a weird direction. And also sometimes this thing opens the door. I don't know how it yeah. happens, but like that could be a huge safety thing if you're not ready for that to happen. So make sure you're like doing it by a door that's like not by stairs or anything, like level ground everyone. And we also had a mat underneath so that was helpful if we ever felt like we had to just like collapse which happened a couple times this week where you're just like, I can't let go, and so you just yeah, like, sometimes you like feel stuck a little bit. Um, I also think that the door frame helped a little bit too. If you could like pull yourself to get your foot by the door frame, you could like rest your foot in the door frame, but still hold that stretch. Also, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know Maggie wasn't in it because mm -hmm. um, she's had some like conflicts with this week. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to be in it, but she'll be back for next week's video. So a shout out for this week goes to this person on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our videos. If you'd like a chance to be a shout out in next week's video, then go ahead and comment down below if you have your scorpion or not. If you have not subscribed to our channel and you like this video, make sure you subscribe by clicking the red button down below. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.